Look at this, guys. Look at this storm. The rain is just coming down so fiercely, probably because we're in a tropical region. So we're going to have a lot of this kind of weather. But look at how amazing this is to watch our flamingos relax in the water with these beautiful lily pads that I need to actually add more of. And they're just swimming in the rain with cherry blossoms and a waterfall behind them. This is so freaking beautiful. I love this so much. But hello everyone and welcome back to Zoodesia Zoo, where the rainy weather has actually gotten several of our guests convinced to buy some umbrellas, which is a very good thing because we need to start utilizing all of these people for money. There's so much money to be made here. In fact, we should go ahead and put down something so they could have a little umbrella stand right now. I need to stop being so hesitant about adding in new things. We can always fix it if we're like, that was a complete mistake. I definitely didn't need to do that. Well, we can always fix it. So there's no reason to panic. Let's just throw down actually one of those really cool blueprints. Well, first we need the facilities and we need to come over to staff facilities. Is that what it is? No, 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 no. We need guest facilities. That's what it is. And if we want to give these people some cool umbrellas, we need the information center which we can put right here. Very nice, very nice. So they can like walk up. Oh, that's kind of cute. They can walk up over here. Nice. And look, oh, I think they're already coming to buy some umbrellas. Yes, yes. All right, and then let's see. I'm going to have the blueprints. And because this is in the Asian section, we can just grab one of the little East Asian shop. Let's see, zookeeper hut large exhibit. I cannot wait to add this palace, by the way. That is going to be so cool. We are going to retrofit this area to be so awesome, but we're actually going to be working on something very, very, very special today that I know is going to make you guys so freaking thrilled as soon as I can find. Okay, we need shop. What am I doing? This, it literally is so easy if you just take your time and follow all of the guides to all of the different prompts you could have. All right, and we'll go ahead and add in, almost there, almost there, there. All right, and now the rain, oops, and I didn't put it down quite right. <laughs> and now the rain is actually gone, but hey, we at least had the opportunity to try to get more from these people. Oh my gosh, this is actually a really busy little spot. Holy cow, you know what? Let's actually get a large shop in here where we can get two of them. I didn't realize that people were this desperate for things like umbrellas and everything else. And well, I mean, this should be our panda shop anyway. Oh my gosh, <laughs> look at this. Okay, we need to have two registers here. This is really cool. I didn't expect this kind of a turnout. Uh, and it would be nice if we had some other things too, but it seems like people really need to have <gasps> what? There's an escaped animal? What the heck? Okay, okay. Um, gonna need to work on that. Give me just a second. I'm trying to take care of these people. Why do we never? Oh my gosh, and Hideo is expecting another offspring. <gasps> yes, you guys. Okay, I need to sneak this in over, over. There we go. Oh my gosh. All right, all right, all right. I'm going to go ahead and work on that. Hang on, hang on. Okay, there we go. There's another shop. Hopefully people will realize that and go by. Uh, okay, now what is happening here? You are not escaped. This flamingo is, oh, this flamingo's hungry. Oh, we need more flamingo food. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I think we need to get more keepers because we're not able to feed our flamingos as much as we should lately. I've been noticing that. And actually, I think we need another forging pool because I feel like the flamingos need more food as a whole. So why don't we actually put the forging pool over on like this side so that the flamingos can start looking at it uh, all over the place and people can look down and watch the flamingos forge because I think that would be really fun. So we'll add that in. There's always something to improve in our zoo, which I love about that. And we have reduced crime because we don't, everybody here, they're good nuggets. Nobody, really seven greater flamingos to the wild? Holy cow. And then we'll get $4,000. So apparently that's pretty important. Somebody is visiting. Oh, hey, Afim, welcome. Hello, hello. Nice. 
So that's really cool. I love how you can go ahead and greet people. I haven't gotten like credits from doing that for a long time, but I think I just did. It's hard to tell. All right, zoo attendance is up. We have a little shop. That's amazing. We had a cute little rainstorm. I think that the, I think they're escaping because this barrier is like falling apart. Oh my gosh, where are my mechanics? Why, do, why, why are people back here? How did you people end up back here? I don't even know. Why is this broken? Why is everything broken? <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to hope that, okay, we're gonna have to hire more mechanics. That's like the first thing we do today. And today I actually had a lot of other things that I wanted to do, but you know what? We are learning that the mechanics are some of the true superheroes to getting things done in this zoo. So we shouldn't panic. We hired a bunch of new mechanics. Let's come down and name them after you guys really quickly. And then we are going to get started with some new animals because I need to start adding in a lot more new animals. So let me go ahead and pull up the name list of you guys. And if you want to come and join Zudesia Zoo in the chaos to help me fix all of the mechanical mishaps, to help me plant the bamboo, to coo over our new panda, to watch as our little flamingos flock continues to flourish, then all you have to do is leave a comment, guys. And I'm so excited because I feel like, you know, we have Miss Rose, our veterinarian, who has been with us for so long. We have Queen the Flamingo, who's actually named after one of you. It just just, oh, soon we're gonna start naming areas after you guys, like little parks, and it's, I mean, we can name the, the little shop, the little panda shop that we have with information. We'll name it after one of you guys in just a second too. But all right, let's go ahead and rename this mechanic. So this is mechanic. I like to give them their titles, so at a glance of the name list, I mean, you could tell anyway, but I don't know, I just think it's cool. This is going to be mechanic Jana. Thank you so much, Jana, and yes, yes, your Lapos tortoises do indeed love, love, love eating vegetables. You are so right. And then right over here, we're going to have Mechanic Purple after Purple Princess. And I'm so glad you like Galapagos tortoises too. Gosh, now maybe I'm feeling like we should work on a Galapagos tortoise exhibit. And then let's see, I need to pull up one more name. We'll do this really quickly. Dun, 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 dun. And this is actually going to be Mechanic... There we go. Uh, Haley. <laughs> there we are. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and we've learned through taking care of these people that we really want to assign them to different work zones. So I'm going to assign Kaylee to, pa to Panda Mountain and we're going to go ahead and assign Mechanic Purple to Panda Mountain as well because we seem to have a lot of issues over here. And then I'm going to assign Mechanic Jana to Pangolin Point. So she'll head out and go to a different spot. But there we go. Woo! They're hopping to it quite literally. <laughs> Hopefully that will start to get some things sorted out. What we really need for them is actually more workshops. Because I think they need more stuff to fix everything. So I'm going to toss a workshop down in here too. And we'll cross our fingers that hopefully this will all work out. But all right, now that we have taken care of adding in so an information center, which apparently is overflowing with customers pretty happy about what they can get. We'll worry about setting the prices later. Let's actually name this entire shop after <gasps> Dodo Raptor. Oh, hey, Dodo Raptor. So this is actually going to be the Dodo. Uh, ironically, the Dodo Raptor. There we go. Well, actually, let's go with the yeah Dodo Raptor uh, Panda. Panda Center Education. There we go. The Dodo Raptor Panda Education Center. And guests will be able to buy a wide variety of a lot of stuff from over here. And then while we're here, because our guests can be silly, let's add in a couple benches. I haven't even added in benches over here yet for people who want to come see the pandas. And it looks like we have a bit of a mess, so let's add in a bin over here so people won't be won't be quite so messy there okay <laughs> wonderful see we're getting faster at figuring out how to add in some upgrades and speaking of getting faster i guess we need to name these vendors as well if i can get my hands on that vendor i think i can get my hands on her at some point all right the information center the prices 
I need to really... I will train her in the future, and we'll train the other vendor in the future, but we'll worry about that another day. Today, it is time, my friends. It is time. We are going to begin to set our sights on the other side of the zoo. And we're going to do that because I have so many animals in animal trading. <laughs> Behold! I filled this sucker up with as many animals as I could yank off of the animal trading center for just pure cash as possible. I went, yes, Legend's about to have another baby. Go, Legend. You are a legend. But I yanked as many of them as I could in breeding pairs. I could not find a male American bison, but I really want to work on trying to get one soon. I found another Chinese pangolin. We have a Formosan black bear male. I want to find a female because Formosan black bears are actually native to Taiwan. And a lot of you guys know that my beloved Chips, who studies Chinese history and is getting his PhD, and I are possibly going to go live in Taiwan for a year. So I would love to be able to have the Formosan black bears, since in Taiwan, th that's where they're native to, and they are kind of a big deal over there. So I really would love to do that. I have a ton of the Galapagos tortoises, a pair of grizzly bears, mandrills, okapi, ring-tailed lemurs. I even managed to get spotted hyena so excited about that and two not one but two breeding pairs of timber wolves so i'm super excited about that and i really want to add in the wolves now because we have our little asian section of the zoo which will be vastly growing over time and sprawling this way and i figure we can have the like an islandish section of the zoo over here kind of where we'll have the galapagos tortoises a more temperate forest section of the zoo over here and we'll have some savannah section of the zoo back here, savannah and grasslands, and we'll spread out and maybe do it in little patches and groups, have little jungles spread here and there, more places like our precious panda shrine where we will really respect and cherish all of the animals that come to be part of our lives with special mementos like this. I'm also thinking of making the panda shrine more popular by putting like a really high appealing exhibit of mini exhibit of some kind over here. <gasps> Tea is about to mature! Oh my gracious, T, you have grown up already. And look at all the pangolins coming out to forge at night. Emily, waffles, oh, so sweet. Bagel, you're all grown up now, Bagel. And Legend just had more babies. Legend, you are the legend, I repeat. Oh my gosh, are you born? No, 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 oh, Legend's about to have the babies now. Look at them all walk together. Oh, we're gonna have to name our flamingo flock too. Jeez, people were waiting for being able to buy more stuff. My gosh. All right, we'll work on that later. But we need to begin somewhere at inviting these wolves into the zoo. And I think I wanna have a series of wolf packs that kind of go around a mountain and we'll have them back here. So might even break up the wolf packs actually, like have wolf pack, proghorn, antelope, wolf pack, uh, maybe like grizzly bear, maybe another wolf pack over here, kind of spread them out. But I know I want to have multiple wolf packs so that we can start saving up wolves to eventually have a really beautiful wolf sanctuary in another zoo. So I want to have some healthy breeding pairs here. So with all of that said, let's go ahead and the logs would be so cool. But we're gonna have people walk this way, walk this way. And when they reach this part, let's do some curve on ground. And when they reach this part is six. Yeah, six is how wide I want. I want it to go ahead and branch off. And we're actually going to have them go up. So up a little set of stairs maybe? Do I want stairs? Yeah, I want stairs because I feel like stairs really differentiate uh, a section and make it feel different. And they're going to go up some stairs and then they're going to go down a fairly decent sized bridge that's going to slowly wind through a big forest. So we're going to add in a ton of the tall trees over there. And at the end of the forest... We're going to go ahead and go down with the stairs again. There we are. And it's going to lead up to where we'll have our wolves. Oh, this is so exciting. 
So your reward for having gone on that big journey will be to come up to the wolf exhibit, which I'm going to make multiple, like a little branch here. There we go. Hmm. I'm slowly figuring out this path thing. I think paths for Planet Zoo. Oh, and now one of our flamingos is expecting more offspring again. They must be, we should mock up the little nest that they, <gasps> Waffles is expecting another baby. <gasps> we have just a pangolin party going on down in here. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. Waffles, that's so cool. Hopefully they aren't getting too overwhelmed. The adult population is outside of their comfort zone. Uh, so we'll probably expand our little pangolin point in a bit. But that's so fun. All right, we need to hurry though with the wolves. It's going to be a bit of a walk to get people over here. But that's okay, because we'll put the grizzly bears. There's going to be a big forest. <gasps> Heidi, I just had her baby. Holy cow. That's wonderful, but I need more wolves. So, okay, I don't think the wolves can climb, so I can finally use this beautiful fence I have been waiting to use. Uh, we are going to make it height mode, length. And I don't think I can curve this one is the only downside. That's fine. All right. And let's have people come right up. And we'll have to change out that beautiful tree. I'll move it. And then we're going to make... In fact, let's go ahead and make a bit of a mountain right now. Before we even get going. Let's yank this up. Because I have a dream about how I want to do the wolf exhibit with a big mountain kind of at the back. Oh my gosh, the flamingos are just having so many babies. I think we're becoming well known for releasing flamingos into the wild and I have no problem with that. Here we go. I want our wolf pack to have a mountain that they can climb and howl on. That's one of my dreams. And we're gonna make a bunch of tunnels so that they can loop around. So they can enter on one side. I want it to kind of loop over here. So let's flatten the surface. Really small right here. Let's see. All right, let's back that up a little bit now that I know what that does. Okay. Hmm. Man, you have to be careful with whatever this thing is. Yeah, I don't know about that. That was an experiment to kind of see what that could do. I'm trying to make like a little land bridge. But they, they'll, they'll probably figure it out. So let's pull this a little bit. And then let's go ahead and smooth this out. That actually worked out pretty well. So then we'll have a little land bridge looping around and then they can get up to the top is kind of what I'm thinking. So we'll have like a tunnel at the bottom and that will have a den. And then, in fact, we could probably like go reverse order. And then, ooh, we could even have a den here at the back. That would be really cool. It would be super private. So they would really feel like, like no people could ever take a peek at them if they didn't want to be seen. Neat. So a little den there. And then I'm thinking of having like a tunnel that digs down in here. And somehow we're gonna make it so that it'll maybe come up here. Yeah, we'll make a really cool tunnel for our wolves is basically the goal so that they can walk down and then walk all the way up the mountain. So I think I can actually make maybe a big din. Ooh, we'll make a big din over here. And then we'll have the path connect up somehow. Where's my tunnel? All right, we're moles now, my friends. This is mole life. We'll dig down. We're finding our way. Expanding, exploring. Little tunnel offshoots, this is fine. This is so cool. Oh, oh, oh. Are we getting close? Maybe? I'm not sure. 
We have to keep going, keep exploring. All right, I think we should make the other tunnel. Oh, how do I get out of here? Ooh, I think we should make the other tunnel. Here we go. A little bit, let's back up. Stretch, stretch, we're in. All right, terrain. Eventually the two things will meet. Did they meet? No, not quite. Oh, there they go. Yes, we did it. <laughs> okay, it's a little wonky and we're gonna have to smooth this out somewhat. But we did it, you guys. Now we have this cool tunnel that hopefully the wolves will learn. Hey, I can climb here. And we'll add in a few little lights for ourselves so we can see what the heck's going on. And we'll make that den bigger back here. All right, yeah, I can't see a thing because of how the light has changed. But now we know we have a huge wolf den just waiting to be utilized. We just need to put in some light so we can actually see what's going on. And then it connects up with this tunnel. It spins around. There's another little den spot up there. I love that. That is so cool. We're going to have to give it a cool mountain name. And I definitely want to get here. We'll actually have the path come back this way. And we can add some restrooms back here too. I guess that it doesn't need to like hug the fence all of the time. So I can put some decoration pieces on that side. All right. All right. Let's do this, friends. We've got this. We're going to go ahead and make a big. There we go. And then I think the keeper stations I'll put back here. So let's see. I like keeping my area is huge for the animals and also very diverse and i can probably make the fence bigger but you know what we're already committed a little section at a time here we go almost there and boink all right there we are and then we'll have, I think, the uh, the keeper stations and things located back here. And people don't need to worry about that. And we will go ahead and continue to use the sparkly green path because I want my keepers to feel like they are worth every penny, which they are. All right, so we'll put that there and then turn. And we'll have our little keeper village back here. Just a small version of our keeper village, I think. Uh, well, yeah, because we're gonna need multiple keeper huts around here. Multiple exhibit or habit problems. Ah! Okay, okay, we'll take care of that. We will take care of that. We've got this. We've gotta fix like everything, but we will be fine. Let's go ahead and put in this habitat gate. Let's go ahead and select the entire barrier place. The whole thing. Oh my gosh. All right. Hopefully our mechanics are fixing some of these things. We're going to go ahead and raise the fence to six. That cost a bit of money. That's fine. And then let's go ahead and we are going to edit the barrier. I feel like maybe a one-way barrier would be kind of cool over here. So that the wolves really didn't know they were being watched. Even if it's more expensive. Yeah, that'll be good. Then they have to come up. I like that because then the wolves have to like come up to see what's going on. Uh, oh, and then let's get this fixed up. We're almost there, guys. What should we name their mountain? I am ridiculously excited about the, the fact that we have a mountain for them. All right. Is this the right way? Yeah. There. Nice! We finally did it! We finally just have the outline, the shell of the beginning of our wolf exhibit. And it's really actually smaller than I want. So we'll, we'll go ahead and... Oh! Ha! Huh. You know how we could expand it now that I'm here and I realize how tiny it is? And I want it to be much bigger? Watch this. Oh, I love that. I can just grab it. Oh, this is much better. Yeah, that's what we needed. That's what we needed. Much bigger, much better for our wolves. And then just bada bing, bada boom. Oops, I didn't mean to make it all 
There we go, we'll back that up. And then in nice little chunks, do that. Also, it looks like all, everybody fixed all of the problems that were happening. I'm so proud of you guys as staff. Good job, my interns. Whoops, and then, all right, we'll connect that. There we go. Much better. <laughs> Much, much better. All right, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add in the keeper stations. I wanted to add in the wolves like right now though. And we're gonna need, yeah, I wanna add in the wolves before we go. So we'll play with setting up our new wolf area. I kind of wanna give them like this cool land bridge. Yeah, we'll give them a land bridge. T is expecting offspring. We have a pangolin explosion. We're gonna need to do all sorts of things with our pangolins over there. I'm definitely going to need, uh, ooh, we should make like a cool little, hmm, I wonder if I can learn how to make a waterfall. <gasps> that would be awesome. And we can make a little pool, like a pond for them to swim in. Because some wolves like swimming, some packs will actually swim quite a bit. And then I wonder, I want to make a land bridge and then right over here have like a little waterway. There we go. All right, this is going to be so nice. It really looks weird when you first put the fence up and you're like, it's a box. But you can decorate a lot of things in that box. And let's get our wolves in. That's what we need to do today more than anything. So we know the drill by now. In fact, I- oh! The macaques are expecting more offspring. I really want to be spending more time with them while they are doing that. We can get a wind turn by now. Yes, that is so much more naturalistic for the power. Does it give us as much as the transformer? Not quite. So we can scatter the wind turbines around. I like that. All right, we're going to have a cute little wind turbine. Turbo the wind turbine right over here. And then we need to have water treatment. Oof, the water treatment plant is gonna have to really stretch to reach the water in the wolf exhibit at this size. Can I actually put water treatment plants inside exhibits? Is that a thing I can do? Because I think we're gonna have to, to be able to reach this exhibit. Huh. Or we have to make the water like travel that close to the exhibit. So we'll, tr we'll experiment with this. I'm not exactly sure how it's going to turn out, but we will experiment with this. All right, there we go. It needs to be turned like that in order to connect. Uh, oh, Waffles is having offspring again? Our pangolins are just like, no, we're just gonna have tons of babies. We know we're endangered, we're working on it. Uh, so we'll spend some time with our pangolins in just a bit too. Okay, gotta really make my mind up about the water treatment plant. Uh, we'll put it right there. Okay, water treatment plant. And then we're gonna get just the basic blueprints of our staff facilities down. So staff facilities, let's go. And let's get down the trade center. Gonna need that wonderful trade center to be able to get our wonderful wolves out from in here. Whoops. All right, trade center, trade center. There we go. All right, so the wolves are hiding in there. We need to have the keeper hut. We're gonna start researching different styles, by the way because that'll be really fun to decorate over here. There's the keeper hut. And then we are definitely going to need a staff room where people can sit and talk about the wolves. Uh, let's make a little circle path over here. Oh, this path doesn't need to be so big either. That's another thing. Like, I'm being silly keeping it this large. There we go. There, much better. And then connect up. Connect up. Come on, come on, you can do it. There, all right, so all of that is not quite what I wanted, but it'll do. There, all right, and actually, we'll have a little loop back around and I'll put a nice little tree in the center. All right. I need to go, 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 because we've got so much to do. <laughs> I've had to, like, ignore the other animals for far too long. Not happy about that. Uh, staff room. There we go. All right. So we have, like, a little cabin where the staff can come and chill and talk about the animals. And we have the keeper hut. And I feel like we need a research section nearby. 
and a veterinary surgery just in case something goes like terribly wrong so we'll put the vet like this this is turning into a good spot i think having some of the more serious stuff like the research and the vet place will be fine for over here uh let's turn this like so and then can i actually get you out there very nice. All right. So now we have this little section. We'll have to designate it as a work zone in just a moment here. So let's come over. Work zones. New work zone. Everything here is now going to be Wolf Forest or Wolf Mountain, Wolf uh, Waterways, uh, Wolf Cabins. There we go. The Wolf Cabins. Yeah, we'll start with that. <laughs> All right. Phew! Okay, you know what? I promised you guys we would get the wolves down. So we are going to go ahead. We are going to hire ourselves a new keeper. Let's just pause so that we can get this done really quickly. We have one new keeper. And we're going to have a new vet. And we are going to have a new mechanic. And these guys are all going to live over here. Let's see who we're going to name who. So let's see. And then this is going to be... Mechanic Jelly after Jelly Boy. So welcome Mechanic Jelly. You're gonna be a huge help. I just know it. And then this is going to be Keeper if I can select them. All right. Come on. Okay. The Keeper is floating in the air. So let's get her down. There we go. And then this is going to be There we go. Keeper Lynn after Ethan Lynn. I'm so glad well, you, you said you really want to be a zookeeper and then boom the random generator picked you which is so cool and then this is going to be vet molly uh mullen vet mullen after richard mullen so thank you oh okay there we go all right all right all right let's see everybody's here that means it is time even though we won't be able to see them but we have to get them out of storage i can't believe this has turned into like the longest episode ever but that's okay. We've been having a good time. And this is step one. Who should we pick? All right. We're gonna go with the longer lived of the two females and we're gonna compare her. Okay, I can't see, we can't see what her possible like mate would be, but let's go to the back. Let's get her. We're gonna go ahead and move her in. Let's go ahead and grab the mail. Come on, come on. All right, this guy looks pretty good actually, but I want the guy with better fertility, I think. So we're gonna go ahead and move him in too. All right, and let's rename this habitat to, uh, let's see, Wolf uh, Howling Peaks. There, Howling Peaks. Let's do this, come on guys. Come get him out of this this place. I want to see some wolves. And then I want to go see our bazillion and a half baby pangolin. Where are you going? Wandering? No, 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 wolves. Going to habitat? Is somebody coming? Oh my gosh. Are my unassigned people coming all the way? Oh. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, now we've learned a vital lesson in making sure that all of your zoo staff are properly assigned to their different work areas or else you're suddenly going to find yourself with uh, a huge long walk that you don't want people to do. So no wolves tonight. Uh, no wolves tonight. But we will be getting our wolves very shortly. So hopefully, come on guys. Oh wait, no, no, I know what's wrong. These guys aren't assigned to wolf peaks. <gasps> we can fix this. We can fix this. Okay, quickly. All right, mechanic, uh, Jelly, I need to assign you to a work zone. Going to repair a facility. There we go. No, no, no. You're here. Oh, wolf cabins. That's what you're doing. And then right over here, you are here at wolf cabins. That's what's happening. These people are trying to wander away from where they are assigned. They're turning around. Where's our keeper? We've lost Molly. Or Mal no, 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 not Mullen. Who's the new keeper? Let's see. Keeper Dia. Keeper Lynn. Keeper Lynn. Keeper Lynn. Wolf cabins, please. There we go. All right. Let's see if something happens now or if it's too late. 
Mimi is expecting offspring. <gasps> Mimi's expecting offspring. <gasps> Happy days. We're going to celebrate that. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys. We're going to go ahead and just have the wolves next time. This has been a super special extra long. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There they are. There they are. Nestor. Our caretaker has the wolves. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. The wolves are coming. The wolves are coming. No way. Finally! <gasps> oh my glorious me. You are gorgeous. You are so gorgeous. All right, guys. We have not one, but two brand new timber wolves added in to our world. And we're gonna need to do our best to make them happy, comfortable, and thriving because this is the beginning of a pack. Look at them. Look at them. Straight up to the top of the mountain to see what's going on. Oh, this this mountain's huge for them. Oh my gosh, this is going to be awesome. This is going to be so awesome. <laughs> but alright guys, thank you so much for joining me. We have our alpha female. She is ready to declare her area. Our super special episode of getting wolves. Holy moly. And we're going to have to prepare this so that this is a perfect home for them. And we are going to get it so that we have multiple packs thriving in our zoo. And we will watch them as they evolve over time. So if you guys could, do please leave a like to howl for our wolves. If you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.